All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back. Everything is all ready now. The seam lines are gone and everything's all washed and dust free, ready for painting. So I've been really toiling over the color scheme though. I've been going back and forth between a couple different ideas and I finally have decided on what I want to do for the color scheme. So I decided I'm going to go all Nazca for this. At first I was thinking just all just Gaia in general. And I was liking that, I was picking out some cool colors, I was picking out a couple of like virtual on different shades of blue and stuff like that. I had mentioned in our episode of Gumpla Talk that I was thinking about going blue with this and I am still going blue in a way, but I'm going to keep it only Nazca paints. So these are still Gaia paints technically, but just Nazca as uh, Naoki's line of paints. First up, we have Nazca Super Heavy Primer. This is uh, good because it acts as a primer and just a paint color as well. So if you use this as your primer, you don't actually need to spray any paint over it. You could if you wanted to change it, but uh, you can just use this just as your color as well. So that is going to be for the frame. Over there. Then we're going to be using Nazca 001 Steel White. This is going to be for all the thruster bells. For our accent kind of color parts that were originally in red there, these are now going to be in blue and it's kind of a slightly purplish blue here. It's a million blue from Nazca NC004. Then we've got 005 Warm Light Gray. This is just going to be for a couple little like off gray parts that are just like a couple accent parts up there. For the Extend Arms add-on parts, these are going to be, the main color is going to be the dark color, the Frost Matte Black, which is a really dark gray, almost black kind of color. And then accent on those is going to be in Joint Gray, so this is a kind of lighter gray color for those. And then our main color here is going to be Blue Fog White, which is a slightly bluish kind of medium gray color here. So it's not too similar, dissimilar from the main color that the armor already is, but it's going to be, I think, a little bit darker and a little bit bluer there for the main color. Now that really just leaves us only with the weapon, which is probably just gonna be in some shade of gray. I haven't quite decided yet. Nothing special really necessarily for that. Uh, it might not even might not even use Nazca paints for that, I'll, but we'll see, I haven't decided yet. Uh, and then the yellow parts for the vents on the extend arms, I'm not too sure about those. I would've been thinking about doing those in yellow. Uh, truth be told, the only other Nazca colors that I have are bright blue, bright orange, and bright red. And I didn't wanna use any of those. Uh, I have other kind of warm yellow colors of course or I could mix something but I've been wondering if I want to even make those in bright yellow at all. Uh, I like that they're in bright yellow and I've been thinking of keeping them in bright yellow, uh, kind of yellowish orange anyway. But I've been thinking since I'm doing this all in uh, Nazca colors, what would Naoki do? And I've really been kind of hung up on the idea of just doing those few vent details in silver. So I'm gonna break with everything being Nazca for just those six parts there basically for the vents on the extend arms, and those are gonna be in Mr. Color. So I'm just gonna use straight up Mr. Color uh, Silver here for these. Now this is what I actually did on my custom build of the Vigna Shiki, the Vigna Gina 2. Uh, I used silver for a couple of vents on that, and I really liked the look of it. So I think that'll work really well with this because the rest of the color scheme has this kind of cold color scheme of just uh, uh, grays, which are just kind of neutral, but the, the grays that do have color in them are a little bit blue a little bit cool in color, and then our only kind of real main bright color in there is the million blue, which is obviously bluish purple kind of color. So it has this kind of cold color scheme overall, grays, blues, and so I think just a couple of silver accents will pop really nice. They'll still pop because they'll be kind of bright and shiny, but they don't need to be in a bright actual color like yellow or something like that, yellowish orange, something. So I think that'll work really well. And then I can also add a little bits of color in just with the decals as well. So I haven't decided on which decals I'm gonna use. I usually don't even like look at decals for a kit until I'm actually done painting. So once we get to that point, I'll pick out exactly what details I'm gonna what decals I'm gonna use, but I'll probably use some like orange decals for this. So the decals will have some color. They'll add some more kind of color to this, some like orange accents just in the little bits here and there for the decals. So that's what we'll do for that. So in the meantime, we need to prime first. So like I said, the frame uh, is just gonna use that super heavy primer and that is going to act as the primer and the paint for that. So that'll be set. And then the warm light gray, the million blue and the steel white, those parts that are in blue or white will be primed in white. Everything else is just primed in just regular kind of Mr. Color gray primer, nothing special about that. So let's go get to work.
All right, guys, so here we have it. All the main colors are all painted, and then I went ahead and did some assembly. And this is actually, to be honest, a little bit more assembly than I usually do at this stage. Uh, but just these parts all seemed like they could go together without causing me much issues. So I went ahead and did some assembly and then gave these a coat of gloss coat just to get them ready for doing our panel lining on here. So everything's all glossy and now as well. But I'll just show you guys a couple of sections here so you can get a look at how just the color scheme is looking. Pretty happy with the colors. The main color is a little bit more blue actually than I was expecting. And also the million blue is a lot more purple than I was expecting. I know I've used these colors before, but I just kind of, I guess, forgot about them uh, being exactly the colors that they were. But anyway, and you should also keep in mind that this is also, we're seeing this uh, glossy. Once I've sprayed the final flat coat over this, it's going to desaturate the colors a little bit. Uh, so I think ultimately once these are in their final state, the color is, is going to uh, be a little bit different than kind of what you're seeing as it is now. But anyway, I mean, everything is still looking pretty good. I like that the frame is nice and dark like that. And it's looking pretty cool, all shiny as it is now. But definitely, definitely it's going to look a lot better once we've got this uh, all decaled up and detailed up and with the flat coat on there. So let's get to work on our panel lining first. Not a huge amount of panel lining to be done on this kit, so this step shouldn't really take too long. I'm just gonna use a panel line accent color black for this because, yeah, there's not really a whole lot, so just a little bit of black on some of these parts here. I don't really think I need to use gray on anything, even on the white parts, which is pretty much just the thruster bells. There's only a tiny little bit of detail on those, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use black for that as well, rather than normally on this, that light color like white like that I would use gray that would be like for armor or something for something just like just a little bit of detail on these little white thruster belts I'm just gonna go ahead and use black on that in this case as well all right so I've got all the panel lining done and I'm just working on the detail painting now for example we got already painted in here the inside of the thruster belt there like that and just a couple little things I've got going already the uh, bolt details that we added in here onto the side of the leg just like painting the heads of that uh, and so there's not like a ton of details to go in and paint it on this I could like go really super crazy with it but I'm just kind of picking out little bits here and there that I want to highlight so for example this piece here for the front of the crouch you have this little detail up here on the purple part I painted that little first part part in there in some uh, metallic gray this, when it goes on, it's like really shiny, but then when it dries, it get, it's like quite matte finish, actually. But this other forward little square little bit there, I'm gonna paint in white, uh, and then red over the top of that for just like a little red, so it looks like a kind of little red light or something there on uh, the front of this. So uh, this process really shouldn't take all that long, I think, uh, just going in and finishing some little details on this. Actually, and you guys haven't seen this yet, I did go ahead and change the design of the rifle a little bit and here's where I'm going to probably have to do a lot of detail painting, just picking out a lot of little details here on the rifle. But I had this part here, which was like the two sides of that on both sides, but I didn't like it perfectly like symmetrical. I wanted to make this a little bit asymmetrical, so I actually combined the two ammo packs using this one on this side, which we're now using as like a camera, and this one over here on this side, which sort of looks more like a set of like batteries or something on there. And then uh, made the connection to the uh, hose, which will go to the tank here on out the back of that so this is obviously missing the, the part of the front there i can probably go ahead and attach this now i painted them separately to paint them in slightly different color of gray so it's not super obvious but you can see the front half of that is in a little bit darker color just to add a little bit color tone difference but we'll paint in a bunch of little details on here as well
Okay, so then the final step for this now is just going to be water slides. So I've picked out my water slides here for this and they're all HIQ water slides. So I'm thinking I'm pretty much gonna stick to white and orange for the colors for this. I was on the fence about using pastel purple. I have some pastel purple water slides also from HIQ, uh, but I thought, no, I don't wanna go like in, I want it, it's like pretty stylistic of course, but I don't wanna go that route of stylistic. I wanted to stick to like a pretty standard white and orange thing for the most part for this. So got some of these uh, laid out here. I'm gonna work on these. That's pretty much gonna be it for this video. In the next video will be the reveal of the final product. Once the water sides are on, I'll give it a coat of uh, just some matte finish on it. And then I'll show you guys the final results here very soon. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.